Hey everybody, I'm Tiffany and welcome to my channel. If you are new here like I am, this channel is going to be dedicated to all things scrapbooking, card making, and all that other stuff. So in this video today, I'm going to be going over my beautiful collection of clear stamps. I'm going to be giving you guys the details on the store names, how much they cost, and what was the shipping time because I know those are the three things that everybody wants to know. So if you are interested in knowing how to purchase some of these clear stamps for yourself then keep on watching I purchased four stamp sets from pick up it and they are these guys right here so the first stamp set that I got from them, we'll put those up top there, is I called the Floral Leaves. So this is what the stamp set looks like right here. It is longer than your average stamp set. I purchased all four of these stamp sets from Pick Up It, which will be right up top there. I ordered these on July 30th and I received them by August 15th so that is almost about three weeks for the stamps to come in so the floral leaves looks like this has lots of stamps lots of nice florals on it this one was $1.39 $1.39 for this guy the next one that I picked up is this sentiment stamp right here about the average size of stamp set has lots of really nice cute little sentiments for tags or little things like that this guy here was a dollar and two cents so this is it right here a very nice amount of stamps the next set that I got from pick up it is these round flowers here really nice for background stamping goes really well with the flowers and leaves on this guy if you wanted to make kind of like a cute little floral theme and this stamp set here was 96 cents 96 cents the last set that I got from pick up it is this one here I call it the yay set I really got it because I loved the dream catcher on there I am in love with dream catchers it has really cute little sentiments in it dream big believe in your dreams i love this one and this one was also 96 cents so the next couple of stamps that i have oh actually just one from this seller and it is this guy here and as you can see you can probably tell that i used this one already this one i call cats and dogs damn it's so hard to see this one really good because it's a very thin outline but there are a bunch of little cats and dogs it's like a little bowl there you got like a little tennis ball some paw prints this one is really beautiful um i ordered this one from ks crafts put that right up there ks crafts and i ordered this on july 30th and i received it august 7th and this guy cost me $2.54, $2.54. Honestly, I will say this one came really fast. This one came in about a week, actually six days it took to get to me. So my next one, I got a, yeah, just one from this guy here. And these are alphabets. As you can see here, it has four sets of alphabets. So you have your capital bold, lowercase bold skinny capitals and then like a script lowercase and then you also have your numbers here this one was purchased from loveland underscore and i ordered this one on july 30th i received it on august 15th so a little over two weeks looks really good haven't tried it yet let's see if it's like the other ones up. the only thing that I don't like about the alphabets is that they all come kind of like this and you have to cut them each apart as you can see this is a very extensive stamp set 
um, has four sets of the alphabets in it so that's going to be a lot of cutting uh, this one was a dollar 42 a dollar 42 so the next set that i got here from zc decor i ordered like i said july 30th got them august 14th so a little um over two weeks so 15 days exactly so the first one here is these beautiful fairies they're so cute like they're just doing a bunch of little random things catching leaves chasing plants you know doing the usual fairy stuff um <laughs> this one here was 72 cents totally worth the 72 cents it's so cute it's so pretty i love it um yeah so the next one that I got from them is this guy here. Kind of go in order that I have my list. I have all these listed out. So this one here I'm calling Bees and Butterflies. This one is very cute. It definitely reminds me of this one a lot. Like it's kind of like in the same styling, which I thought was cute because this one has more flowers, even though it does have that butterfly there. This one is kind of more an extensive butterfly collection. Got some bees. Got a little cute little ladybug there. Love this guy. And this one was 85 cents. Totally worth every penny. Isn't it so cute? Love it. So the next one that I got is the Stitch Circle. So this one is really interesting. It's literally just a circle. It kind of my camera doesn't pick up the detail on it because it is a very thin but it is like almost like a weaved circle like it has like stitching on it it's just cute it's very cute i guess it's just to decorate some circle die cuts there are four of them in here they each are separated so you can definitely stamp each one individually this one ran me about 59 cents 59 cents tell me this is not worth 50 cents come on son <laughs> definitely worth it now this one is the only stamp that i feel was not worth the money this one is so tiny like it's very 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 tiny four but i don't think it's worth the same amount as say this one which they were the same price 59 cents 59 cents but look at that all right so yeah probably of all the stamps that i've collected the only one that i don't think is worth it and lastly my all-time favorite stamp set that i own is this guy here the mermaid for each other stamp set now this guy here was a dollar 69 come on son a dollar 69 versus 20 something dollars you cannot go wrong this is it here. It has three full-size mermaids in it. Lots of little decorations. You got a fishy turtle, seashells, um, algae, seaweed, whatever you want to call it, rocks, and four sentiments on here. Love this one. It's beautiful. Totally worth every single penny. Okay, guys? And all four, all five of these were all purchased from the same store zc decor so that wraps up my aliexpress haul because this video is going to be so long i'm actually going to split this up into three portions i don't know why i thought i was going to be able to get this done in one video clearly that is not going to happen so this video is going to be three parts this first part was about aliexpress stamps the next part is going to be on the ebay stamps and then the last part is going to be about how i store and manage my stamp set and also a project share using my favorite stamp set so please subscribe thank you for watching make sure you like and comment on this video let me know what are some of your favorite stamp sets and I will see you guys in the next part.